This will teach you how to create a basic incremental game that you can then build off of. First, go to ripple.it. This will let you code and it'll host your web page for you. You can also use Glitch for this if you've heard of it. Create an account, then create a REPL. Select HTML, CSS, JS as your template. Make sure to give it a name. This is your HTML file. It's basically a list of things on your page known as elements. Delete this text and let's create a button element. You'll need to have an opening tag, a closing tag, and your content in the middle. To create text, use P tags. You can find a list of element types at this link which will be in the description. Your CSS file controls how your page looks. Anything in body affects the whole page, so type this to give it a background color. You can find some more CSS examples at this link, which will also be in the description. Your JavaScript file holds your code, which makes your page do things. Create a variable and make it equal to zero. In this case, it's broccoli. Create a function. Anything in these curly brackets will occur whenever you call this function. In the brackets, add code that increases your variable by one. To make this occur when you press your button, go back to the HTML and put an on click in your button's opening tag. Make sure you're calling your function here. To make this number update when you increase your variable, first put span tags around it. Put an ID in the opening tag and then type this line in your JavaScript function. Make sure the quoted text is your ID name and that you're setting it to the name of your variable. To view your site, refresh your page with this button or open it in a new tab with this button. From here, the sky's the limit. How you want to expand your game is now up to you.